Hi, I'm Exesis, and this is Terra Invicta, where we're playing as the Resistance. So, uh, last episode we managed to intercept and uh, destroy Victor 28, completely this time. Uh, the two previous engagements, the first one, they scuttled back off into space to repair. I think that was uh, Victor 20. Uh, it was one, yeah, it was one of them at least, and then the second one we managed to damage them so badly that they scuttled their ship, and then last episode we actually managed to destroy a ship as well. So we have Victor 30 here that is inbound, going to be arriving here tomorrow. So it's uh, basically already here. We have uh, Romeo One here, which uh, consists of six of our newly upgraded ships. See if we can get in on one. No, it doesn't want to do that. Let's see if we do it this way. Uh, the Canary class. And we upgraded the torpedoes. Uh, upgraded two torpedoes on these. These little bad boys. They're essentially just a chemical rocket strewn with some uh, some equipment strapped to them. So we're heading off to intercept Victor 30 there. And that's going to be up very, very, very shortly. I just unpause here and we... No, oh, we actually got to uh, swap the turn here before. So let's, uh, let's head back down to Earth. Oh. And we can see their path into, into Earth here that we're going to be intercepting them on. And that's probably Victor and Romeo 1's path, so we'll be Heading out to intercept them out in interstellar space. Just so we get them before they actually arrive. Okay, so what do we want to do on Earth? Now we really need to clear out some of these servant stations in space. But I think for, for now it's okay for them to keep them. And we don't have the mission control to really take them over either. And that means they don't have... Uh, that's a mission control they can't use anywhere else, so... But back down to Earth, we are still consolidating in... Uh, over here. Uh, we are gonna try to get in here again. It does look like we still have a alien operative around here. So maybe we should uh, investigate these two characters. 50% yeah, seems more likely to be an alien. Surveilling target. Ready Maybe we can uh, track him down again. No, we've got no one actually investigating this alien activity. We will recon so the we side. We want to do that, of course. What's the op? And uh, that's just for good measure. I was going to say investigate here, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be very much of a point to do that. What are our chances to snow? Of course not. She doesn't have any chance to stay a crew because that's a command related one. She probably doesn't have very good chances of this side. Actually, 54% here in Laos. We still got, got fairly good, popular, got very good popularity in Singapore. We would like to get Singapore back under our control as well. And we can go into Bangladesh. Making our case. That is fine. All of our bases and ships are upgraded here. We don't have too much money so we're gonna have to we're gonna be unlocking tier two things soon I think. Oh yeah we also got set back on Hydra Biology. We were just a couple of days from finishing it when the servants sabotaged our research project there so that was a right old pain. Hope that we'll lock in this one soon. Now we need another 2000 to lock it in. And, and then we can focus a little bit on projects. And we will confirm these. And I think before anything there happens, we're going to have this space battle. So Victor 30 is uh, in orbit. And uh, that means we intercepted him. Uh, we might be able to actually see where they ended up. Yeah, they are. They are both here. Currently over the Pacific. And uh, well, of course we're going to take this engagement. We are 
by all means outgunned, but we do have a very big numerical advantage, which has worked in our favor before. It does look like they want to evade us this time though. So we can't really, really do anything about that, or even if we spend all of our Delta V, it's uh, no chance that we're going to catch them. I will submit the bid and uh, we will uh, we will just wait a little bit more and we will try to intercept it again. Okay, it returns to operations here. Uh, where are you? So we will set you up to a new transfer towards Victor 30. It does say that they are likely able to escape pursuit. And this one had a very, very high combat acceleration. Now we go to Delta V expenditure. We'll try again though. Let's see if we can actually catch them. No, there we go. It's a uh, crash down on in China. So presumably uh, we won't be able to intercept this one. We do need something with a little bit higher. Or we'll probably need a little bit higher combat acceleration to actually catch them. I'm just guessing that uh, Victor 30 is no longer in orbit. So if uh, we were to intercept them, it would have been that. So we will. Uh, no operation is. And they should have a yeah, they've got gateway gateway at his home. So uh, unfortunately we just have to return back home there again. I will just do a low delta delta V transfer. At least we tried. And sometimes that's about as much as we can do. Very quick to refuel them. Found nothing of note. We will have to repeat that mission then. Okay, yeah. Well, let's try the that people one again will too. Come to our side. And in China. The situation remains chaotic. We we'll probably need to send a few of them up to investigate that crash site and so on. How much do we need to actually take? Recon uh, complete. Well, we should be able to take the first control point back in Singapore. Well, that's good. And now we're just waiting for our operatives here again. And they started building armies here as well. And uh, okay, so we want to send in Nari here to purge. Terminating the Singapore, opposition. So we can start Standing to by. get our positions back here again. And Samsung can investigate the new crash site in China. If we can find it. We'll sort this uh, all the way up here. We will investigate that. We will see what we can find. And Samadarshi, what can we do with you? Nothing, maybe. We can actually do survey locations. Uh, not down there. We want to survey the location around here. So uh, we killed off an alien agent here for, I don't know, maybe a year ago. And uh, this is the replacement that they just sent here, of course. Eyes up. So. We can identify this one here and find one up here. Maybe we can uh, have them both terminated. Is there anything else we want to do? Ready. Samadarshi can't really do anything of worth here. He does have the coup mission, but he just doesn't have the uh, anywhere that he can actually coup. I mean, it could coup Suriname, but. Doesn't help us. 
I don't think there's anything there that's happened that we need to keep track of. And I think that we are going to check in with our council a little bit quickly. That no one has the experience, we can't recruit our sixth yet. And maybe we have some... That one would be a nice one, it's 2-2 two, two espionage. I mean, maybe we should uh, look for some poor nation to, or resource rich nation to pick up just for extracting money. Uh, like Omen here. It's a good one to pull money out of. Well, we'll start working here on uh, Indonesia, I think. Okay, so let's get uh, moving here again. Person of interest surveilled. Yeah, we it was Alpha 3 here again. That is very good. We will repeat on him again. And I think uh, this time we just assassinate him before we... Behold no sway in their binds. Before we find out anything more about him. Okay, so the magazines is go, uh, could be... It could be helpful to actually increase the firepower of our... Ships. Uh, the armor could probably be used to... To reduce... Uh, the cost of our ships. Could be yeah, it's a very expensive one though. I think we need to start picking up a few of these tier two stations. We we're gonna be needing some operation centers probably. And uh, skunk works. Okay, so we, we're starting to get a lot of projects here. Uh, but I think common courser is the one we're gonna pick up. Increase our CP cap for 10 and uh, it costs 2000 here, so not that bad. And we're going to be needing this one soon as well. So let's uh, select that one. And uh, yeah, this one just needs to go. We will set back an entire year on that one. Question is, yeah, they're probably not going to be able to catch up there. So let's uh, deprioritize that one a little bit. Yeah, so we get a little bit more research points into these two techs. And let's wait out the rest of this turn here then. We have found something! We've removed okay. some threads. Found some uh, life forms down there. And we managed to take the control point in Singapore. It pitched us uh, just above the cap. We will wait with uh, taking the next one there. Okay, so we got Victor 20 here arriving. Question is if we want to sort them right away. Yeah, 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.0018 Delta V, it'll take 6.32 days to arrive. Uh, this one is... That's point defense, that sucks. And it's got a big laser cannon. And loads of armor. I think this one is, uh, yeah, this is a surveillance ship. Uh, this one has a little bit slower combat acceleration and it's not going to go crashing on Earth. But it will probably defend itself when we arrive there. Or at least that's the, that's the hope. Okay, yeah, we got moved out of the transfer order there. So I think we need to deselect them and reselect them. And then we should be able to do the transfer and uh, do the same thing. Yeah, they says that they are going to escape here. And maybe they will. Maybe they've learned something. But uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll see if we can go out and intercept them. Otherwise, we'll, we're going to have to rethink our interception, interception ships. We might need more combat acceleration on them to be able to actually make the intercepts. Now as then, territorial disputes boil down to one group of people gazing upon a new land and calculating who would need to die so they could own it. 
thousands of years of purported civilization have done so little to curtail our most basic reptilian impulses. Commissioner Kiran Banerjee, speech at the United Nations. And uh, the servants picked cybernetics. This is a good one for us as well. It'll allow us to increase our increase the uh, traits on our or our, the attributes on our counselors by one. Okay, now we are locked in there. And I think I think now that we are locked in, we we just focus a little bit on these. Maybe even completely. And we can let uh, let the other ones finish this one. I don't think anyone's putting too much points into it. We'll, we'll see if anyone's putting any points in. Is it uh, 11 and a half there? Uh, this one disappeared because we were up in space. So we're going to have to go and uh, take, get rid of this, of course. We haven't found anyone there, so maybe this one is someone. Acknowledged. We are still uh, investigating uh, this chap down here. Standing by and, for orders. Uh, one's probably not ready, ready to do orders. the assassination. 4% success chance. 29% if we spend a lot of ops. And do we have anything that we can increase our attributes with now? No, we missed the one with the two. And that one wouldn't be entirely bad. It does cost uh, every now, we've got this one as well. And that one we're definitely picking up. It's uh, pays for itself and gives us uh, one overhead. And that means we could pick up both of these. That would be two more in espionage. Yeah, I think that's worth it. So I'll pick this one up. And then we can pick this one up. And we should have just enough to pick this one up as well. And that'll give her 22 espionage. That should increase our chances a little bit more on this assassination mission. And up to 8 base, 48% chance. I think we go with 37 instead. Taking them down. Sam's are here with me to At your keep service. her back. We'll go to Nari there. On guard. Your orders? And who? Oh, unfortunately, you can't do anything there. Maybe we can see who this is. Tracking target. And then Where we have the uh, Samadarshi who's up here. He can't really do anything else either. Now hopefully we'll be able to start getting some tech so we can start. Uh, there's uh, there's one that you can integrate Indonesia down here. There's one for Australia too, and one for Thailand, and then there's one to increase uh, or build up China and take some of the border states as well. I think India has one that allows us to take like Bangladesh and Taiwan or no, Sri Lanka. We'll see if we manage to pick up any of those. Uh, I think that's all we do here for now. I don't think there's anything else to upgrade. Now we'll see if we manage to make the intercept there. An assassination attempt comes very late in the resolution, of course. Now we'll see what happens. Okay, they are in a lower Death orbit. Okay, yeah, we didn't manage to identify him, so we'll just repeat that one. Complete. We got some more intel on uh, Alpha 3. That is really good. We'll repeat that one if he dies well. They won't cancel be it. causing us any more problems. And uh, we did a really lucky roll here. We took out another alien operative. And uh, you can see the threat level increased. That'll slowly take down. Uh, that was very good. Now we don't have him bothering us down here. 
Oh, they've actually got two ships here now. This could be really, really bad for us. But I think we'll take the engagement anyway. And we will uh, start the battle, of course. I think uh, the same thing here. We, we go for a very spread out formation as we've been doing before. At high speed. And we will launch... We'll probably send missiles from two of the ships into the smaller vessel and from four of them into the larger one. Oh, let's uh, Oh, they've got one. Okay, so we've got the frigid coming up very close to the... or bringing the lead here. And then the destroyer is way back here. The uh, advantage of this, of course, is that their point defense can help each other. We're not fighting two point defense guns at the same time. That was a little bit what I was afraid was going to happen. The question is if we this one should maybe be within range. I would like to use the uh, the salvo for this one. And that means we need to put them all in. Uh, I think we put them into we put them into fortified position there. Okay, yeah, well, they are very far away. That means we can launch if we launch one, maybe two salvos. Or one, yeah, we want to launch one salvo against this one. That to be a quarter of our missiles. The question is, will they? Enough of them reach the target. I will just have to say, I'm thinking if we spend one third, well, one, I would like to spend one third here. Yeah, so we, if we send one salvo from all and another salvo from just three of them, that should be fine. And uh, I think we do as usual, we want to close distance as much as possible. We will I think we'll even spend a little bit more than we usually do here. Yeah, so we close in. Yeah, one of these boats is gonna be attacked. So I think maybe we set that one to just unload all its missiles. I think this one is the one that's gonna be hit first, the Anansi. As it's straight ahead from uh, the cloud veil up here. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's uh, keep track of enhancing my actually We keep track here of the cloud veil instead. See when it starts firing. Our ship should be accelerating here too. It should have a range of about, yeah, there we go, about 1,000 kilometers. And uh, just as we thought, Anansi is the main target here. So Anansi will set primary target, the Cloud Veil. Uh, maybe we, yeah, we need to padlock you as well. And you should not be in guard mode anymore. I want you in. I think that helps. Can we see which guard mode it is in? No. Yes, it's in still in guard mode up here. No, that's the commanding officer. Yeah, he's probably not going to survive this one. Everyone else here, we will padlock them and we'll set them to. I want everyone else. And we probably want to set these as 
primary target for the moment and these should still be in uh, the poorly fortified posture and uh, I'll launch the salvo at this one that means they should all be arriving at the same time so it means we can actually see what's happening here. Yeah, I don't think we got all of the missiles away. But we did get salvos up from everyone else. Let's just wait and see what happens here. It's turning against us at least. Now we're still too far away to fire at the next ship. Okay, we did hit some here. I got a few more coming in, and not enough. Do we have any more incoming missiles? Does look like we we did not do enough damage to this one. So we we'll set this one to attack. You're still primary there. Uh, this one's probably going to go as well. And that one doesn't even have any controls anymore. Uh, I guess we have to uh, make sure that we take this one out. Then. Uh, because uh, that one is still out of range. Okay, uh, primary target this one, all weapons free. I uh, don't think we're coming out winning out of this combat. At least we can take this one out with us. And that's one of our ships that's disab disabled then. Uh, this one's not going to be able to withstand all of these missiles. I was thinking. I managed just fine. I got another salvo coming in there. And now the uh, destroyers coming in to finish off the rest. I think we're all dry on torpedoes. And this one seems to be us drifting now. Of course, the point defense is uh, just too good for it. That one doesn't have the Delta V is missing. And I think that's all we have. Now that we lost another ship. And another one. I think we just auto resolve what is left here. I think we... No, we actually managed to keep one. That is uh, very surprising. That was a terrible, terrible loss for us. Uh, we lost uh, five of our six ships, and we can't take two of them at the same time with Nolan. And we did manage to damage one of their ships, so hopefully it will uh, get out of here. And we will have another shot at destroying the uh, destroyer there. We will have to build some new ships though. Okay, so let's uh, close out of here. And... Uh, I want to bump up the speed, but uh, let's pause there first. Now we did unlock the magazines, and uh, they might actually be something that we... No, we don't need to do that. I want to upgrade the one we have. And the crates here, we've got none of them left. So let's just destroy that, or observe, uh, delete that design. Now magazines are a utility module, and they will... Uh, Add uh, more more missiles to the to the ship. It will also increase the weight of them. We, that adds 500 tons to our ship. And we should have uh, magazines of 18 missiles here now. 
And if we just have one there, it's 12. And if we have none, it's 6. So that should bring up the volume of fire from one of these ships by quite a lot. Do we have any anything else we can use? I don't think we've researched any other things. We could actually swap these out. What that save us? That's still only about 30 tons, isn't it? But even that, 27 tons we save. I think 17. And I'll keep the aluminium fins. But uh, I think we might actually want to bump up the speed on this one a bit. So each of these ships should be more capable at least than the last one. No, we, we haven't actually needed to use that much delta V for these intercepts. So maybe we go for something that's just a little bit faster instead. If we have a full drive stack of six, six propellant tanks, we get two kilometers per second of delta V. That should be sufficient. And we get a lot better combat acceleration. We just have to be very, very careful with how we use it. And we don't have any new armor either, do we? No. Okay, so this is the Canary Block 4. Since we, it's an upgrade from the old crate. Uh, let's save that design. Uh, yes. We know that it doesn't have any Delta V. We don't need the Delta V. Mm. Yeah, we can't uh, do that because it's not docked, of course. We will build uh, three more of these and together with uh, uh, the old one that we have there. It should be, should be sufficient. Uh, these have so many more missiles on them that they have about double the... Oh, actually, yeah, they should have about three times the combat value in amount of fire. So we should be able to breach their point defenses a lot easier with all of those uh, extra missiles. Let's get the info view up again there. Available for operations, yeah, you just go home. You can't really do anything by yourself there. I just Our needed to unjustified to them. Yeah, we don't have anything better for you to do though. Uh, this we scratched one of their agents down here. That was uh, very nice. I'll have to go up and uh, get rid of this, these alien life forms up here. Let's we'll see if we can find that counselor up here as well. It should show up doing something very soon. I don't think that's uh, that's the one. So uh, Emiliano here. Let's just for good measure find out who it is here in I China. I'm the target. I'm here. Samsung will have to go up here and destroy those alien fauna that we found. Where to? Nari did a really good job here at eliminating the alien. Let's just do a surveillance mission here to Aiza. see what's happening. I've got a servant one here as well. I really need to bring some pain back to the servants. Oh, they've got, got Cambodia. And the aliens probably transferred it to them. We're gonna have to wait for another ship there before we can do anything about Victor 20 here. No, they're actually sticking around, even though they're damaged. I can't really see what they have here anymore. That's weird. When we've been in combat with it, we should know. It looks like it's spent. Yeah, it does have enough Delta V to get back home though. And this is 20, uh, Victor 26. This is the one I thought we should know. Uh, got a, some estimates on how much. Oh, these are dead. It's only got the point defense laser left. So that is very good. It's uh, not really a threat to us anymore then. Not sure if this one can actually attack our ships. If it can, it is still a threat. Yeah, 
yeah, we can't really see any other damage that we've done. But uh, yeah, at least we know that uh, that one is there. And then we got the fading moon here. And that spent all of its torpedoes, it looks like. So it's only got the laser gun. So these are both spent. And they've been in combat, so they're not fully capable anymore. They're going to stick around here until March, which means that our new ships should be able to launch and we can run another intercept on them. So that should be good. Initiating recon. Yeah, we're just uh, making sure that there's no alien fauna that's popped up here. We've got some intel on our target. Uh, yeah, Hua Kang, we, we know him. And quantum batteries, they're actually quite good. But we're, we're not really using batteries right, right now either. When he was one in China, then that was a new. Well, let's see humanity first agent, is he up here? Yeah, no idea where he ended up. Public opinion remains or in Angola. We followed after him then. And public opinion, you just keep keep at it in China. Unable to destroy target. How did we fail this one? That's a success chance of 99.7. We rolled a 99.8. That is that is a curse. That is a real curse. Cleaning things up. And there we've got someone. And because Ready. we had the aliens here, very uh, the crash landing here so short time ago. I want to check who this Yorados. is. And the there we somehow failed to track down these. Uh, Eyes up. Ready. These ones down there. So we'll we'll do another try at it. See if we can find them this time. Can we do a hostile takeover on someone? That's humanity first. Don't really want to become unfriendly with them. Uh, we have uh, a tolerant relationship. No, not there. Yeah, we're in conflict with them. We don't really want to make it into war. I think the only one we are at war with is the servants. And that, that's why they started messing up our research projects and things. I think that is a good distribution for now as well. We have started to keep uh, keep trying to stabilize China. We're doing the same thing here in India, just trying to stabilize it. And research is going down because unrest is going up. Is that something now you can do? We'll turn down the heat. Ready for my mission. And Peru, can you also stabilize China or India? Yes, you can. Restoring order. Just yeah, so we don't lose our science output here. Would be nice if cohesion actually started going up instead. But we are we are getting there on democracy here at least. China has no way to go. And they're both, they're both still very, very poor countries in the GDP. We'll get there. And we got back into Singapore. When does this one expire? We don't really have the cap for it either. That one just uh, runs out in December. So we might actually just wait for that and then take it from them. They have the same kind of investment funds as we do. But for now that is fine. That's quite fun that they have exactly the same as us. But uh, yeah, we, we are build, helping to build it up. Actually, we don't need to build it up. It's got too high GDP anyway. No point investing any more into the economy here. Let's just to try to pull some of that money and money out instead. I think that's going to be more helpful to us. Yeah, I think that's fine. We can't build any more mission control there. It's maxed out. Oh, we need to defend our interests in China first. Ready to go. 
Okay, so now you will have to do the survey locations up here. On Overwatch. And then we send some sort of quickly to defend our interests in China. And that should be a better setup. So that we don't lose anything here in China. Someone is putting points into industrialization of space. So that is good, that means we can focus on our own projects until then. We're not in a rush to get this one, we want it before we start going to Venus and Mercury and the asteroids. We don't really have uh, the mission control to operate very much there anyway. Securing our interests. And the new ships should also be a help here, since we don't need as many of them to get the same quantity of uh, torpedoes into the battle. Yeah, that's uh, expected. I have new information. Okay, it wasn't an alien, it was Ruth. I think we've had dealings with Ruth before as well. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. One percent there in China. Don't really think we need to do any more. Now we need to repeat this one. France has declared war on Ukraine. That was a little bit weird. Okay, yeah, now we know where the alien is. So this uh, this must be the alien. Then. I'm gonna track him down and we'll el eliminate him too. Ready for my mission. Yeah, we know you. You are good at finding these. This is a green alien or Ready for orders. So we will make sure to take them out. Doesn't look like there was any more fauna down here, even if we failed in that mission. Some sort, yeah, you don't need to do anything. We keep you in the area. Investigate the that mission. Site. And some Adarsh, what have we got to do with you? You are a little bit of a liability at the moment. Everyone knows who you are. So you go on the ground. Your orders. Nari is still pretty... Acknowledged. Uh, Samson needs to go on the ground too, we need to keep the Sending servants of orders. our operatives. I'm here. Nari I'm does here. not though, don't care that the academy knows about where she is. And from root, just 1%, oh, because she's a super high admin. Admin 1? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I can help to lower unrest in India. We'll restore peace to this nation. We can't really go after the uh, alien until we've actually positively identified it, of course. Um, I'm just assuming it's a little bit too high chance though. Could be a servant operative that's doing these as well now. Uh, it's just to the border region, so that's still within the... Could still be an alien. Since they, they don't yet move further than that. Going silent. And we completed the common cause. That gives us the extra control cap we need for well, the Singapore. We'll grab something else in, in the meantime. So I think uh, we're just going to try to get some of these smaller things out of the way. Um, like the Hab Living Quarters, the Hydroponics Bay, Energy Lab could probably be a good one to pick up. Especially the Vasimir, so we actually have that one as well in the Mobile Space Lab. Then we'll start here with the Hab Living Quarters. If we have some spaces, this one uh, gives us a module that gives us a little bit of cash. Since we don't have uh, that good an income, that could be a good thing. Or we just have a little bit of power left and a, a slot left. Person of interest surveyed. Now we did find Alpha 11 here. We will repeat this one. So we can gain some better intel on him. And then Our we'll, uh, efforts didn't have any effect. Send him a warm welcome to Earth, won't we? Violence is a bit. Yeah, we need to keep keep lowering that there. That means science is coming up here again. Yeah, we'll 
believe that when we when we see that there is actually a lasting peace. So we finish the hand living quarters there. Let's go on with the hydroponic space. This one uh, reduces the uh, the amount consumed by crew. Let's make the uh, uh, make uh, our stations a little bit cheaper to maintain in the resources. Okay, they're in Russia terrorizing people. Now we have a positive, positively identified him there. We're gonna go have to go up and investigate this too, of course. Are we keeping track of you, Mr. Eleven? Where do you need me? I could go and un increase the unrest Where in to? Russia too. Uh, I think we're gonna need one more turn to. Investigating, investigating him before we do anything. And should be doing a public campaign somewhere. This is one of some of these countries, I think. How much does Laos have? It's plus five. And Cambodia is six. And Laos, yeah, they both have the. I will Let's tell see, we'll story. go into these two as well and try to grab them. They're both abandoned, but they, they have some capacity for mission control. But uh, that's going to be all for today. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you next time.